Why am I sore? Eight inches? I love that I can hear the shiver in your voice. Leave me alone. You realize America's a continent. Maybe we were talking about the continent. Big fans of the whole thing. Come on, man. You're LeBron James. Are you quoting Kanye to me right now? It's You guys are so screwed. And I think there's no. a double-edged sword there. I agree, and I don't agree with that. Yeah, yeah I'll say it. I hope power doesn't go to his head. Rolling with an iron fist. It's a drama. Drama is clickbaity. Yeah. Squeeze the button. Kumbaya. <laughs> Big news. Elephant in the room. Let's go ahead and start talking about it. <laughs> you know what the news is? Yeah. I thought what day of 75 hard are you on? That was 60, 65. Oh, okay, there it is. 65, right. 10 that's, to go. That's the, um, that's the big news. Finally got the shirt on. Nice. Um, use the code Angelo. It'll double the price for you. Get a bigger yep. contribution to the uh, organizations we're supporting. Exactly. But, um, yeah, perfect because you were just kind of putting it in my face, weren't you? Yeah. Just teasing me. I said it was cold. How are your um, legs today? Bro. <laughs> oh, you should make, share that with If it people. makes you feel any better, my legs are pretty dang sore today, too. It does and it doesn't because you also rode 50 miles on your bike. I and did, when I kind of just sat yesterday. at a computer and did emails. Um, Rory got the the belt squat. Um, How bad? Dude. I mean, I, I'm actually... I'm probably not going to cramp up today, but like I was telling Rich, even yesterday I could feel it over time as I was sitting in my chair where I was like, yeah, yeah. They, they were just like I woke twerking up and tweaking fine, the wrong completely way. Completely fine. Uh, no, and then was fine and then did that 50 mile ride and I got off the ride and I'm like, biking usually doesn't make me sore. Why yeah. am I sore? And then it just morning, had set yeah, in while you were biking. While I was biking. Here, and, and for people at home, here's, here's life at mayhem. I, I brought my son in to do a very modest, like I'm put, I put him <laughs> on like a strength program. It was all about him. And all of a sudden, like, we're halfway through squats, and I walked in, and Rich is in there. I was like, yeah, we're going to just go squat and whatever. He said, hey, like, you want to yeah, do an upper body it. pump? And he's like, well, we're out here squatting. We'll do it after. I was like, I'll go squat with you. You know, I'm like, at that stage of my fitness, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I need to squat. So all of a sudden, my five by three, where I was like, probably going to mail it in completely. Like, I got my yeah. son watching me. Rich is there. And I'm like, well, I got to go big now. So I did heavier, heavier squats than I've done in a long time. And then oh, we did the no. belt squat to bottom. Like, hey, let's do a little accessory finisher. And Gus was supposed to do... <laughs> Tabata just air squat. <laughs> he was over it. He didn't do it. He did He did Tabata cell phone games. And so me and Rory did Tabata belt squat back and forth. So two sets of Tabata mm. with uh, the belt squat. Just 25s, but it's enough. And I, I told enough. him in the beginning, I was like, hey, <laughs> don't do this like a traditional Tabata. And you actually listened. You you didn't like. <laughs> I tried to keep 10s. What were you, 12, yeah. 12, 13? 13. Jeez. 13 is 13 awful. is the 13 is the number. Like you can't do, you can't really do more than that. 12, 12 is a good like. Yeah. Builder 13 hertz. What, what's hertz. the actual official name of that piece of equipment? It's the Rhino squat. The belt it's just squat. The belt, well, it's a belt squat, but it's the Rogue Rhino. Rogue Rhino. We have it, Okay. Man. And it's surprisingly it, taxing like, on your back. Oh, yeah. Just because the way, yeah, it's just different. It, it angles on, yeah, you've got to almost like, not good morning. Push not into good it. morning yeah, you squatting, push but into yeah, it you got to use, it's a good, it's a good tool. Um, you can... Like your back know, will hurt. That. Your back will hurt when you're doing it, but as soon as you're done, it doesn't. Yeah, no, you're it's not. You're not hurting. You're not it's hurting not like ha you don't have it loaded. It's muscle. Yeah, and, and, and it's actually, supposed to be for like people who have injuries. Yeah, upper body injuries or a back injury. You could yeah. still squat and put some type of weight on there. Or the we just like it for the torture. It's or torture. the fact that like the tension was always on. I've seen people do like just a march in place, right? Oh, yeah, we, not a Louis Simmons thing. Uh, yeah, I don't love the march. We have There's set a plate there, and we just do like quick little uh, steps. Okay, step up is way worse. Yes, and it's not like a true step up. It's like you know, a plate like a forty-five, yeah, eight inches, yeah, um, ten, and uh, it mimics elk hunting. Yeah, the when you have a like a it mimicked the tension just never leaves. that pressure so on your us, hips. Us yeah. carrying that weight out, um, that meat out, it almost identical. Yeah. It destroys it your hips. Like. It's awful. Yeah, you're like glute meads, <laughs> glute mat. Like it's just it lights you up. So Roy, we did. We hadn't done it in like a, six months or more. And we did four sets. We went one set belt squat, one set sandbag. One so you set. did, yeah. So you did a set, set on the belt squat, Tabata on the belt squat, a Tabata with, I think, a 50 pound sandbag. And then you do the belt squat again, and you do the sandbag again. I was sore for a week. I was in a sore for seven days. It's, it actually is like, it's refreshing to hear that you guys still can find yeah. ways to make yourselves feel like normal That's humans. That's one way. And that, <clears throat> I was telling them, the team, that mimics the. Um, the worm squats, yeah. almost to a T. Yeah. Mm. The feeling you get. The no, there no, no break. No like break. Your back. Yeah. It's just not a pleasant yeah. experience. Um, I love that I can hear the shiver in your voice. And I'm still shivering. <laughs> I said the one thing I'm not looking forward to is when it's cold out and you it's, get out. Yeah, it's because you're not warming back up. Actually, when you get out, even when it's cold, you feel it feels warm for a second. I know, but like. But you got to dry out quick. Point. Yeah, there's a turning point. You got to dry quick. Yeah. yeah. You know, I did it today, and you guys will laugh. 
but I know you're not supposed to do it right after training. It's just the way that my day works. Like I'll go and I'll jump in right when I get home. But I threw my I threw a bathrobe into the dryer. You, you can as <laughs> long as as long as you're not doing a hypertrophy workout, yeah. right? Yeah, That's right. Which is like um, not my goal. Right. So yeah, exactly. Um, and I've been listening. To your already boy big Huberman enough. A lot, like trying already to like big switch enough, up. You know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, look at me. Come on. Um, what are you switching up? Well, he it was interesting. At least, and I'm sure there's a bajillion of them. But the particular particular protocols that he was breaking down, he actually it was almost like CrossFit in essence. He was saying like, you know, I should change it up from time to time. He was saying you should move around, like make it colder. You should do, uh, he increased, he said increase duration yeah. at the same temperature and yeah. then try a lower temperature and like, nah. Yeah, so yeah, when you good. get used to it, it's not necessarily that it, I'm used to the cold, not me, myself. <laughs> I'm not used to getting in and like sitting in there and it's like, oh man, I could go five degrees colder now. It's more so afterwards. Like, mm-hmm. I, like where he's, when did you do it? Like how long ago, like 20 or 30 minutes something? Minutes ago. Yeah, okay, so I'd be freezing, freezing right now too. But like, it's, the time it takes me to warm up is getting shorter. Hmm. So it's not that like, that. it's not that the water feels better. Like, cause I have it at 44 right now and I try to jack it down from 45 to 43. I found my midpoint at 44. It was just right. <laughs> <laughs> and, Goldilocks over here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, like it's not that, it's not that I can handle the water better. It's that I get out and I, warm up a lot quicker like I'm pretty warm now I think I did it at like 7 30 yeah I mean I'm definitely noticing that I feel yeah better but still the first few times it was taking me like hours warm like I'd have I would have to get to the gym and just like start jogging to warm up because I was so cold yeah Um, I'll usually hop in the truck and turn the seat that's I run <laughs> and I won't yeah. turn the air on. Which yeah, no. At this time of year, we'll is, turn the air on. Yeah, it is almost unbearable. The kids are like, "It's so hot in here." I'm like, "Shut up!" <laughs> You're dying. I, I rode here with the heat. Leave me alone. Full. Heat yeah. was on full blast. Stay off me. I'm freezing. Yeah. <laughs> but I do notice, like systemically, you know, I've had the tennis elbow, so like my elbow feels better. Oh, that's um, so nice. Which really is random, no, you know? I haven't noticed any of that. I notice I, that a lot. I look forward to it, like the night when yeah. I go to bed. I'm like, "Oh, I get to do it in the morning." But yeah. then when I first wake up, I'm like. I Sucks. could stop this. You know, I don't yeah. have to do yeah. this. This, is, this isn't working. It. It's not doing anything. <laughs> yeah. You know, why am I doing this? But I went from 3.30 to 4. So, but now I get in and then as soon as I'm submerged, then yeah. I start my clock where I used to like, as soon as a toe hit, then I start <laughs> my clock at 3.30. And so I think like, uh, once about a minute and a half in, I could probably stay there. You for stay there for as long as you kind of want to. Yeah. Want but to, it, but I, just don't. I just don't want to. The, yeah. The only thing, and the only thing like for that, where you feel like it doesn't do anything the only thing that seems to be universally agreed upon is that it's good for your mental grit. Mm. Like, yeah. you know, whether or not it's burning fat or whether yeah, or not yeah. it's doing whatever. Yeah. Um, and the only other thing I'm not worried about burning fat at this point. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's falling off you. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> that your boy Huberman said was, um, and this made me think about plunge is that circulating water is a lot more difficult. Yeah. yeah. So like, even yeah. though it looks hardcore and be like break ice and jump yeah. into it. Yeah. Static once, well, water what happens sit. is like, there's like a, you like layer, water so. right around you that if, if you move out of that, but the yeah. plunge, it's the moving at all time. Yeah. 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 And I try to do what you said to like move the water I've got in the other day and I like try yeah. to keep my arms moving the whole time. I was like, I'm not doing this. You That's go hands crazy. under? Yeah. I go, yeah, I, I like, don't. I go is so I, the water level is usually like right here and I rest my head on the, the back of the tub and I'm, I'm all the way in. But hands, hands in. Nice. Hands I don't do my hands in. Uh, my hands are out just like a I little try, bit. but I got to go for a break. One day, a bitch. one day I put my hands in and uh, like I had been doing it with my hands out or my arms out or whatever. One day I just left them in for the whole three minutes and I was like, nothing happened. Yeah. Like, you know, like, I mean, like I thought about that. I was like, what's going to happen if I leave my arms in? It's yeah. going to hurt a little bit. And then once you do it once, you're like, okay, I can do it every time. You know, it's not like you're gonna you're not gonna die if you yeah, like your I arms die. in. <laughs> I might die. No, my arms are in up to my wrists, and then I yeah. just like rest my hands on the outside of the tub, which is very it's super uncomfortable to sit like sit this, like but this. it's worth it. <laughs> Could not have my hands in. I'm like try to find like yeah. you know how that has the the pad when it flips back, there's like those yep. two little weird wedges that yeah. are there. I try to yeah. like but it's they're almost like too far away. Yeah, just, like, like hold dang them. it. All right. Um, we're obviously gonna talk about uh, the departure of Justin Berg, the uh, a re- re-entry yeah, of, yeah. I mean, if you can call it that, of Castro. Uh, anything other random, like, or shout-outs or whatever that we want to do previous to that, or should we just jump right in? A week of meals delivered to your door. Lately, I've been ordering a la carte options like bison burgers, salmon, turkey burgers, potatoes, and chopped chicken. Trifecta also has prepared meal plans to choose from, like paleo, clean eating, Whole30, and keto. Get 40% off of your first order and 100% off convenience at www.trifectanutrition.com forward slash rich froning um so 
CB made me just think of this, and that's why I, I went to my phone. CB just text on our, uh, what is our, uh, the Dead President Society? Yeah. Text thread. We have a dead, you know, Dead Poet <laughs> Society. Yeah. Great movie, but uh, we have a Dead President Society, people that are reading the biographies, <clears throat> and he was talking about, who was he talking about? Charles Lee. Oh, yeah, because Charles Lee sucks. But yes. um, we had a sidebar of people that we were going to read books about other than the presidents. And I just added another one because I was listening yesterday. Um, John Marshall. Okay. Yeah. And then... Uh, <laughs> Dude, I've got a confession John to make. John Jay. Yeah, go ahead. I, 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 I thought Benjamin Franklin was a president. Really? Because talk about dead presidents, yeah, yeah, right? He's on the yeah. hundred. I mean, the dude got the hundred. Yep. Yeah, it, 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 it was, it was an assumption for me. For sure, exactly. That, so we were having a side conversation yesterday where I was like, ah, not really into Adams. By the way, in the comments, you guys see the comments of the last uh, podcast? Mm-hmm. <laughs> People did not <laughs> like. Roasting Adams. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Roasting yeah. Him. Well, yeah. they were like, oh, you need more context. Read oh, this yeah, book yeah, and whatever. Yeah. And I was like, okay, hey, fair enough. Someone good. said like a I president, a good president, he was not. <laughs> <laughs> well, some people, oh, sorry. No, some people were defending him against me. Oh, yeah. And they were like, oh, you need more context. And he was, I'm sure that he did certainly make some additions. Yeah, no. Smart he cookie. Was, but yeah, when they when you zoom out on Adams and in the time he was a good president. Other than like I said, the the Alien Sedition Acts were yeah. not were not very good, and they yeah. would not sit well today. Yeah. <laughs> and the, the, my funniest one was uh, somebody's like, "Well, if he's not if he's not related to Haley Adams, he's a sandbagger." Nah. <laughs> he's not, he's did, not actually pushing. That. I did for some reason today. I was like, ah, "I'm going to see what we've posted on social on my social lately." And there was that America shirt. And somebody's like, "You realize America's a continent?" I'm like, oh, "Yeah." yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Like, chill out, people. What was their beef? That Froning Farm shirt that just says America on it. Yeah. They were like, you realize America's a continent. Maybe we were talking about the continent. Yeah, yeah. Big fans of the whole thing. Yeah, so my list so far of add-on reads. So I'm in uh, James Monroe, which James Monroe, I didn't, I mean, he was kind of a footnote to this point. You know, they talk about him throughout a couple of the presidents. He was a dude. He uh, served in the Revolutionary War, Hmm. um, got shot at the Battle of Trenton through the shoulder, uh, lived with the musket ball in his shoulder for the rest of his life. Come on. Um, Um, Was then a diplomat, and I'm to the point where he's a diplomat. I know he eventually becomes, uh, I think, Secretary of War, Secretary of Defense, or whatever, and then um, Secretary of State, I think. I can't remember. But uh, John Marshall. I mean, James Monroe is awesome. But I made it started making a sidebar of, People to read thus far. Sam Adams is on there. John Marshall, Benjamin Franklin, Alexander Hamilton, and then. But you're getting through all John the presidents Jay. first. Yeah, I'm gonna back. get through all the presidents first, and then I think. Go ahead, Angela. I have this book that I used to read every morning when I was on the toilet called "The Secret Lives of Presidents." Mm-hmm. Have you ever heard of that? It's like, uh, maybe I have. it's like just <laughs> it's usually like a page or two. Is that before of, you started with those? Nasty videos you have on your phone. <laughs> we got reference it with it's not just any nasty video. <laughs> yeah, they're just very politically incorrect videos. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, um, it was just like stuff like that where he was shot in the shoulder yeah. and like and then just it was always it was stuff that you would not read in like the books that you guys are reading about right. like the president. Presidents. It was like stuff that I don't know. Our books are pretty. The ones we read in depth. are pretty in depth. They're like yeah. full on biographies. It's like they're not just like it's not something highlights. you'd watch on TV. I yeah. guess I would say yeah. it's like it's they would leave it out of a documentary. I don't know if I talked about it last time, but on History Channel, there's an incredible docu series on Washington. It's just called Washington. I think I've heard of that. It's awesome. Hmm. Yeah, and having read the book, I was like, oh yeah, I remember that. Oh oh. Watch this. This is coming next. And Matt's like, <laughs> Billings, when we were in D.C., he's like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Not interested. <laughs> it's like yeah, when I, Nobody else uh, found it as cool as I did. We you were. Was awesome. You want a real hard right turn? I watched the Jelly, Jelly Roll documentary last night. Oh, really? Uh, worth it. Sorry. Really? Go ahead. He's got a crazy life, right? Crazy life. Yeah. Um, we were well, about. I, was, I mean, I was going to piggyback off that. Like, we were, Madison and I were watching Space Jam the oh. other night. Wait, which one? The uh, Michael Jordan. Oh, okay. The only one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. yeah. And, um. We were like arguing. No, I was like, terrible. I was like, when did this come it out? Not. It's I awful. Seen it. Oh, here we go. go ahead. <laughs> I'm like, when did this come out? And she's like, well, guess. And I was like, well, you know, let's see. He was he was filming it when he was coming back from baseball. And like, I was like, she's like, are you buddies with him? <laughs> it came out in '96. It was like <laughs> it was like November '96 because right he the, he played yeah. half the se- uh, like half the season in '96, the back half of the season in '96. And then he came back in 97, 98. Yeah. And uh, I was just, she's like, are you guys friends or something? <laughs> like, why do you no, know so much about it? Yeah. I just the watched dance. it. Yeah. Did you really not like the movie? You just, I you, just you just don't like. Have you I don't watched like it? LeBron, but I don't like the new movie. Have you watched a mo- new movie? Um, I haven't. 
Yeah, it's not good. I watched yeah. it on a plane. It was one of those that like, it's not good. Really. He can say what do you like? Wants. I mean, what do you like about it? Is it well? Is it's it just like okay, look, I I love the old one, of course, yeah. but because it's nostalgic. But like, you have to give credit first of all to like the improvement in in yeah, computer generated so. animation. Yeah. I, I really I did not like the movie. Really, I'm, I'm like, what's the basis that. on? It? Is it like they need his they need son LeBron gets to come his son him? gets kicked or gets taken into the game because he's a spoiled brat, and then. Uh, Don Cheadle is an algorithm. Don Cheadle so is he's an like, algorithm. You know, going to this it's thing, just very, it's in. super like over the top. It's cheesy. not the it's same just, thing. It's not like it's not like a remade version. It's no. a little different. Oh. And the basketball is even worse. Like it's just really? it's not good. I didn't like it. And I th- I think LeBron is a great actor. Actually, he did uh, a good job. Trainwreck. The movie yeah. Trainwreck. Yeah. I hate that movie. It's terrible. And yeah. What's her face? Is, <clears throat> she's like one of the worst comedians ever. Yeah. But his spots in that movie, him on, and, I, when him and David Hayter Amy Schumer. together, Amy Schumer, she's the worst. I knew it. I, I knew can't it. Stand her, man. <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't um, even know she was in the but, movie. I just but, knew it. Um, knew LeBron you're talking about. and Don, or in, not, not Don Cheadle, um, and David Hayter back and forth. LeBron play, plays, plays himself. Yeah. And David Hayter is like a, is David Hayter? No, it's a, uh, I know what you're talking about. Hayter, you got the, you got the name right, but not the well, first name. Okay. Um, there you go. Bill Hayter. Bill Hayter. Bill Hayter. Oh, when yeah, they yeah. when they interact together, it is hilarious. <laughs> like LeBron's playing himself, and Bill Hader is like um he's some type of I think orthopedic surgeon or something. Yeah, and and when they like they go out to lunch one time, and LeBron's not going to pay for his side, and he's like, "Come on, man, you're LeBron James," <laughs> or they're going to split the check. Yeah, and he's like, you know, that's how you stay rich, blah blah blah. And then he's like, "Oh man." <laughs> Sorry, dog, I forgot my wallet. <laughs> and then, like, they're talking, they're playing basketball, and Bill Hader's, like, trying to talk about it. he's dating or whatever, and LeBron's just stuffing him and, like, just like <laughs> just like it's nothing. And then he starts in on uh, Kanye's um, uh, Gold Digger song, but just talking it. Yeah. And then he's like, are you co- quoting Kanye to me right now? It's, <laughs> it's pretty good. But, yeah. Well, is it time? I guess it's time. Okay. You, you want to just keep talking about this, huh? Different goals require different nutrition. For years, I felt best when intermittent fasting. But in the thick of games training, I began adding in breakfast. And now mountain biking is requiring to increase calories again. RP Strength and the RP Diet app guided my nutrition every time. RP Strength provides a year of nutrition guidance for $89.99. That's less than $8 a month. www.rp.app forward slash code forward slash froning. For a year of RP strength for only eighty nine ninety nine. You don't want to talk about? No, we can we can end. You, got, I mean, like, well, so just for our viewers and our listeners, uh, last night Angela's text was something to the effect of, "You guys are so screwed." <laughs> I, got, I got. I'm bringing the heat tomorrow. I actually don't have that much, but I do have a guy. I do have some good topics. The Castro one is the most. This is the main topic. Is the yeah, that's the main topic. But the other topic was the. Well, uh, also, I don't want to like. We're not dancing on somebody's grave either. Amen. I don't want to like get in here yeah. and I mean, <clears throat> we can obviously look at the track record and we've had a, a demise and I wouldn't say it's one person's fault. I don't want to like. I think that's great. Yeah. And look, look, it's perfect to kind of pivot off of like biographies of presidents. Yep. I, cause I, that's one of the biggest takeaways for me when you're listening to those is, man, they got all these little small details in mm-hmm. there. So like, yeah, I don't think, I think we're here less to talk about Justin Berg. And in yep. fact, yeah. we should probably give him credit where credit's due for the things that he did bring to the sport, I think it's more the questions about how this move affects um, everything, the community, the affiliates, the, the sport, fact that the and team the was doing some stuff yesterday to get ready for the competition. I was like, you might as well knock that out. <laughs> 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 All right. So you want to start, I'll start with the good really quickly is just so people who don't have context is, yeah, you go ahead and give us the context on what he did. Good. Well, yeah, over a 13 year, I don't, if you, I would say that many of the things the that you, would put under the umbrella of professionalization of the sport up mm-hmm. to and including the introduction of live scoring, uh, chip timing and precision timing, um, really bringing the thing from barbecue yeah. to, hey, this is an actual sport, mm-hmm. largely could be credited at Sports. least in some part to Justin. Um, and he was at the time a great compliment to Dave mm-hmm. um, cool in terms of <clears throat> you got to have a spreadsheet guy and somebody who's going to yeah. pay more attention to the, to the X's bolts, and O's yeah. and the nuts and the bolts. Um, and I, I could, we could leave it there because we're not going to go into enough detail yeah, to I was say, about to say you, you this, have that, a ton of that back. I yes. honestly, I didn't have a ton of, yeah. I mean, if I had, uh, some interactions with Justin throughout the years when I was competing, um, but not a ton, mine was yeah. more with Dave. Right. And that's a great example. It's like, somebody has got to be behind the house, behind the right? Scenes, yep. And there's a front of the house person as well. So yeah, but, and then just to echo what you said about dancing on people's graves, without a doubt in my mind, he's a very great 
human with a family. And so yeah. what I can't respect is people that are just like making personal attacks. Yeah, yeah, you know, exactly. if you don't like decisions that were made in business context, great, fine. Yep. Or yeah, talk about it. But um, stop making personal attacks. It's just not necessary. Um, more importantly now, it's like, okay, for me, what's what really jumps out and I want to hit all of them if we can is like timing. What, mm. what does that mean? Oh, yeah, not the greatest of timing. I'm almost like similar to what happened with Dave last yeah. year, yep. right before the season. What is it? Like to your point, does this affect programming? <laughs> is he actually literally taking over Justin's job? Because I don't think that's true. No. He's not going to be curating the budget and yeah. like working with sponsors on the nitty gritty of deep want, contract but, details but he and things. Probably doesn't want to. <laughs> yeah. well, exactly. Yeah. Right. So, so no, what, Dave. How will that happen? Right. And then, <clears throat> yeah. What's the, what's the kind of uh, larger impact then to sport community, athletes, affiliates, um, good, bad, or otherwise? I think. Uh, um, I mean, I don't know as much as the two of you guys, but I do think it's good. More so that what you get from what I know, what you get out of Dave is like, is how he feels like, or how he's thinking. It's not like, it's not polished. not going to beat around the bush at all. Like you're going to pretty much get what he's thinking and what he thinks is best. Yes. Um, and, no. and he's gonna, and he's like, whether you like his opinion or not, you're probably, you're probably going to get an opinion. Yeah. You know, you're not going to get someone who kind of just tells you maybe what you want to hear or tells you really nothing just to avoid the situation. I feel yeah. like he's going to pretty much give you an answer and whether you like it or not, you're going to have to live with it. And I think there's no. a double-edged sword there. I agree and I don't agree with that. Yeah. There's been multiple times where I've asked Dave a question and you don't get any answer whatsoever. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, absolutely. Uh, but what I, so to your point, the positive, I think that it was probably three shows ago, four shows ago, where I was kind of lamenting, wow, CrossFit doesn't have some strong voice who's going to step up. And we yeah. hear the information from them first. Whether we like it or not, they send some sort of a message. I think that Dave does fill that role. I think that from from a leadership perspective, he has presence, right? Yeah. And, and people do uh, kind of gravitate towards him. Um, and then on the flip, it could be, I'll give him credit. Like we've matured right over the last <clears throat> decade 13 years um you will someday and uh we'll so i'd like to see a new dave whereas because sometimes that strong opinion could actually detract from the ability of the sport to grow right yeah. if i want to yeah. drop f-bombs consistently on espn i'm probably not going to be on espn for too long yeah if you know if i tell a sponsor to kick rocks yeah and it was it's gonna unfounded, get out most people are not gonna yeah. it could be detrimental yeah. right and uh, again i think that that's that was dave in the that very was, very yeah, early dave unrefined sure. years we've all like we've all moved on or, or like you've said, matured. And I feel like Dave has for sure, especially in the last couple of years, but without we'll, a doubt, we'll yeah. see now that he has the reins again. Yeah. You know, like, but there is a little bit of like people say they don't like how Justin was like a politician, but there is part of that that you kind of have to be, I guess, like what you're saying where you kind of have to, yep. where you, you're the head of something and you kind of have to like play by the rules. Like you said, you can't just tell some sponsor to F off just cause you don't like them or they do something you don't like. Yeah. Like that would, that's going to get around and you do that too many times to too many big sponsors. Like you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot. Yeah. I mean, right? there's something to be said about authenticity and making sure yeah. that stuff stays true to its roots and true to who you are. But at some point you have to, you do have to play the, play game, the game a little bit, you know, as, yeah. as lame as that is. Depending on what the direction that they want to take it is. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. But I think, sorry, I think being authentic could help you. Like if you're authentic and you're like, for sure, and you're straightforward for and sure. whether it's like, if, some, if you give somebody something that they don't necessarily want to hear, but you're straightforward and you tell them the truth all the time, you're like, okay, well, you know, sometimes he tells us stuff that we don't want to hear, but yeah. he's like, but he's, but there's, he's, it's constructive. Yeah. It's, versus, and, it, yeah. and it's, it's linear. Like he's always, he's like, he pretty much follows this path. And if, you know, if we don't come in that path with him, then he's going to yeah. be angry about that. Like, you know, at least you, at least you know where the line is. Like, you know how to walk that line. Correct. Um, Maybe uh, let me use uh, kind of moving on to a separate topic, but related. Um, I listened to a couple of different um, podcasts, to Sevon's podcast, bits and pieces. I did no, not actually. Um, I saw a couple of clips and shorts from it, but um, I think I know where he falls squarely. Um, he to give credit. Um, he did. I think he went off on a tangent a little bit, but it was about how Dave is an alpha. It's kind of the point that I was trying to make yeah. about like, yeah. <clears throat> hopefully, there's some of the sub problems that we've indicated, or you know pointed out specifically, you know, like media and delivery and things like that. Like, whereas maybe Dave is the guy who can come in and be like, Hey, look, this is where we're screwing up. This is what it has to be. Yeah. And take all those, the infighting and the personalities and just be like, you stop. 
this is what we're doing. Um, and then I forgot where I was going to go with that next. Yeah, I would, I mean, I think it's an overall good, um, but it could quickly go bad. If yeah. It's the old Dave. Yeah. I'm here. I'm in, and I'm going to be a hundred percent transparent. I love Dave. Uh, I'd call Dave a friend. Um, but our relationship through the years has not been a linear or even a smooth. There's been ups and downs. And I just hope <clears throat> to Dave's, yeah, I'll say it. I hope the power doesn't go to his head. You know, like give him the keys to the kingdom and it's happened before. And Dave gets, it has gotten, you know, I feel like he's a little bit different and has learned over the last couple of years, but, um, Dave was also a part of that problem when all the crap went down, mm -hmm. you know, like, mm -hmm. um, he's not, he wasn't like on the outside. Of yeah. It. He, he wasn't was, on the outside of it. So wasn't the inside. Um, I hope for, I mean, here's the deal is CrossFit. If CrossFit is better off for it, the games, CrossFit HQ, all of it, it's better for all of us. And I hope, um, I hope he listens a little bit more this time than just, you know, Rolling with an iron fist. Exactly. Exactly. And kind of, I don't want it to go back to the, the good old boy system type, yeah. you know, like yeah. you can be a part of us only if you're with us. Like right. there needs yeah. to be a little bit of like, yeah, I'll, like publicly, I think we should all be on board, but yeah. behind the scenes, like you if somebody, could, yeah. like we've all been in it long enough, you know, obviously he's been in it longer than <clears throat> a lot of us, but you know, some of us other athletes or people who have been a part of the community, I hope that he listens to. Uh, a little bit more than he used to. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, he, for sure. And, you know, and maybe articulated. I'm, yeah, I'm trying to articulate it, but well, without and maybe we'll, we'll use somebody else's example. Was uh, Justin Kotler was on uh, Talking Elite Fitness, and his he, he specifically was like, "Well, yeah, athletes are afraid because they felt like if they didn't kowtow or um, literally bend to what was being asked of them, mm -hmm. they were on the outs, yep. which could cost them." Yep. Yep. Um, it was a very political system back then. Yeah. Uh, and not like a good political system. Not a democracy. Yeah. It was not, not a, a democracy. democracy system. It was more like a, uh, <clears throat> you know, yeah, dictatorship. Yeah. And, sure. then I, and then we can say, like, um, without giving details of, like, you know, even the first text that Dave sent to you since this has kind of been announced, like, indications that maybe he's he is looking for yeah. input yeah, and for sure. collaboration. And yeah, no, I'm not. And I'm not saying that that's exactly what we're going back to. Yeah. I'm just saying. Hopefully we don't. That would be, that would be, yeah, it's, it's recognizing who people who may be detractors would, would say, Hey, yeah. this is the potential issue. Cause I feel like from the beginning and from even ups and downs, like even when we had the outs with, with Greg and you know, everybody wants to, well, you were just part of that, you know, cancel culture, which is complete bullshit. You have no idea what went on behind the scenes for years and years before that happened. That was the final straw and it is what it is. And so <clears throat> we never left CrossFit. Like, we were still CrossFit Mayhem throughout it, so we obviously want CrossFit to be what it used to be. Mm -hmm. It's better for all of us, the community side of it, you know, <clears throat> what there's Mayhem, you got HWPO, you have Proven, you have some of these other camps, which we're all promoting CrossFit, but we can only reach the people that are with us or under us. You know, like, somebody who's a Matt Fraser fan is – they're just not going to be a Froning fan probably or a CrossFit, vice versa, a CrossFit, a CrossFit fan, fan. Yeah. and we can all under one umbrella impact more people and be a part of the greater community. And so we need, we want CrossFit to be better. Yep. And I've always been in support of that and said that from the beginning. So yep. I think it's better if we're better. Agreed. <clears throat> and actually, so perfect point to say now timing of this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll just say for me personally, it's an indication that like from what I've seen so far, um, we've seen some massive changes like this, almost like on a 12 month cycle or more. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. But it does seem to me, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this wholeheartedly that I, it looks to me like Don fall at the very least has a vision. And yeah. now he's like, I'm going to now put in place the moves that I think need to be made. No matter the timing. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Or like to or ensure give you a little bit of time to we're doing it now. Out. It seems, it seems, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just my outsider looking in, but it seems like they decided on what they're going to do. It's well thought out, and they're going to march on it. Yeah. Um, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> exactly. Um, and and <laughs> I'll talk out the other side of my mouth real quick, and I'm interested to hear what you guys think about it. 
is that looming in the back of my mind is a lot of our takeaways from semifinals were, yeah, we do have personal relationships. Yeah, I, I do. Dave is my friend. Boss is a very close friend of mine. Uh, Justin and I were close a long time ago, and, and lots of the people at HQ were still close. But I have now, like, very decidedly treating all of them are still just CrossFit, right? Because yeah. at the end of the day, that's who we're dealing with, and there are you don't know who's going to be there yeah. next. and Yeah. Or what's who's not going to be there next, yeah. right? And so, and and there is now something that didn't exist before twenty twenty uncertainty, which is well, <laughs> that was always there, I guess. <laughs> but a board of directors and investors, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, as much as Dave's we heart and soul, and he's a co creator of the games, yeah. and we want it to be community, it's like I think some decisions bottom ultimately line. will be made based on bottom line. Yes. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah, I don't. I mean, we don't know. We yeah. don't know what the track record is. I mean, heck, even before it was a board of directors, you know, everything's moving forward and everything we thought from the outside looks like it's going good, and then yank the rug out. Yeah. You know? So yeah, I don't know. Like That's the down. first time, yeah, the first time was a twenty after twenty eighteen. Eighteen when they yanked the rug out. Like I thought, I don't know about you guys, everything looked like it was going in the right direction, and then everything changed for twenty nineteen, and then since then it's just always something different yeah that's that's the biggest thing for me and if i was an investor or i was a whatever yeah. i want to see some consistency consistency yeah. and you're not going to see that right now especially with economy and stuff it is right now yeah. you know we're seeing that with other companies and um i mean it's not just crossfit that's getting hit you know partners that we work with or not partners that we work with but partners in the sport have been like oh so-and-so's not here oh so-and-so's not here you know because yeah. we're trying to do some stuff with the games and and activations there and they're like oh um let me move you to somebody else oh yeah. let me move you to somebody right. else and so <laughs> um but i i think what you're saying is could be a good thing you know there's the, the board of investors uh, where you know these people all have a share in this and pretty much have a say i just don't know the profile of those investors and in yeah board, like if how know? much like, how involved they are well saying? that and like are they crossfitters do yeah. they actually get it or are they just yeah doing it? i mean obviously they're doing it for money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wouldn't be, <laughs> yeah, it know, wouldn't be invested. Which is in fine. It. I'm in everybody. Oh, you know, it's gotten co corporate and it's all about money, but sometimes what, it's got What be, in the yeah. world what really is isn't like you can't like even, you know, people get upset that we're doing ads on this podcast. Yeah. Do you realize how much money is in these stupid cameras and these <laughs> yeah. jackasses sitting behind this table <laughs> right now? You know how much yeah. it costs for this podcast? <laughs> like chill out. We use knee sleeves and weight belts. Why wouldn't we have a tool to help us breathe better? For the last two years, the Airwave HIIT mouthpiece has been my recovery tool on the competition floor, but lately I've been using the Endurance mouthpiece. It has a more secure fit to keep your jaw relaxed and the airways open during long training sessions. For podcast listeners only, get 15% off at www.airwave.com forward slash froning. <laughs> we got to run some ads. Some money, like, yeah. That's what makes the world go round. Like yeah. as bad as it is. You still got to make at least a little bit yeah. of money, or else you can't do it. You can't, yeah, exactly. And so I'm fine with it, but hey, let's let's not lose our way. Yeah, in the yeah. Whole process, not lose so. it completely. Like use it to help you. So that's, that's, that's always been a sorry. blessing and a curse of, of <laughs> CrossFit. Is like it started as it, it it started as so free serve, and even like we do the same thing. But like CrossFit.com has put up a free workout every single day since 2001, right? Yeah. And theoretically, you could follow any of these websites out there with a massive amount of video content yeah, libraries like mayhem athlete if you went to mayhem athletes youtube right now and you never pay for gym membership code rich froning you'd get yeah. how much percent off i right. forgot what it is ben took the seven, right. day, seven free day free trial. trial there you go but then oftentimes you're asked to pay for, <laughs> pay for something and it's like that sucks oh, i yeah, can't believe like, they charged me five dollars <laughs> right. for this like, yeah five dollars yeah. five dollars a month <laughs> yeah yeah um well what, what i was saying you, is like oh, if you have Berkshire partner. <laughs> <laughs> if you have this is who our board is i don't know what this is ben this is the current berkshire team i guess berkshire it says portfolio yeah companies crossfit i spelled it right Holy shit. all right there you go um the thing That's all I found. the thing that i was gonna say is that like when you have that group those that group of people um, in my mind, I'm sure you guys agree with this, that you always do need somebody at the head who makes the final decision. But if you have a group of people who they listen to, so I'm saying the head would... George Washington. Amen. <laughs> I'm saying the head would be Dave, and the board of investors are the you know the, no, the people. The head is Don, Don Fall. True. Okay. Okay. Sorry. For the CrossFit Games. Okay, sorry. For the CrossFit go. Games. <laughs> like, these people are like, hey, you know, maybe, maybe it's like the three of no, us. No, it's probably Dave, and then you've got... 
Don Fall tells him yes or no. I mean, he's probably got his guys now. Dave has his guys or Don has his Don guys? Or Dave is probably assembling his group. Like, yeah. here's the deal is the games, you've got to look at it. And that's what's – it started out as this barbecue thing, right? Yeah. Well, then it grew to we were at StubHub. And so Dave – did Justin come in probably around that time? We were right on the, about the same footing. So probably 2000 and early 2009, late 2008. And so Dave – I mean, Dave has his hand in a ton of stuff. You can only do so much, especially yeah. with the games and how big of a machine it is. Because yeah. he was running the, so, the affiliate thing, too, at that point. Yeah, but he was running Nicole Carroll. He was running director of training. Co-director of training. Him and Nicole yeah, were and Nicole. directors of training. So he's doing all these seminars and stuff while doing the games. So, yeah. Yeah. Which he's still doing that now, technically. I he's still... I don't really know what his other title was, but... Well, a lot, right of, now a lot of details his, we're not privy to. Yeah. Right? But is, that's his title right now is the, the head of training without Nicole now. So, Right? Well, no, his, his new title will theoretically be director of sport. Okay. Yeah, but he but, was like a affiliate. But, but he was both. like affiliate something, affiliate right support or affiliate not support, affiliate. I I don't know. Something to do with affiliates. Yeah, essentially, he's trying to. And you think he's going to move on from that? I and think you put have somebody to. else in that position. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. it seems as if Austin's kind of been gravitating into oh, that okay. that realm. Um, but Dave was also at programming main site. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't. Mm, I think he would have had a hand in it. You know, that yeah. was that was some of a collaboration. Um. But yeah, he's done a lot. Look, yeah. he's done he's done a ton, and yeah, very homegrown, very early days. Lives and breathes the CrossFit methodology, and understands the community. So I, I think in all those ways, like he's he's yeah, he's a great perfect for that spot. He's a great person to to bring a lot of these things together. But it's a very very complicated thing to do. Yeah. Um, and Privy Council, that's another colonial. Uh, those were that was basically like his was a uh, council of a, like his Jedi like council, a couple guys that would. Well, it started out with the the king, and it okay. was like his council of people that he would ask. But okay, Washington was very big on like had a council of yes. guys that he would. That was one of his drawbacks as a general, but made him good as a president. Right, and I, so th- I think that'll be that'll be fascinating too, is to see if and what input if if the C suite changes and how like because what they've been through a CTO, a CMO, um, What's a CTO. Te- technology officer oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. um a, CMO, I think a there's the, actually we still have CFO, a interim CMO. ceo who is also oh, yeah, the don's cmo not, don's um, not oh sorry yeah i guess don would be the ceo now but we, for, CEO. we had a we had a, a long CMO time. that was a or cfo that was a ceo and that's right um so yeah to see what that team looks like yeah that yeah. that privy council yeah yeah i don't know because that's critical and then get some some right. top down. Ben and I are having a side conversation right now. No, oh, no, bring, no, it make it public. bring it in. Bring it in. No, wait, I don't know what I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> ben, what are we talking about? Well, I put up there. Scott mentioned he's like, "Hey, let's <laughs> let's have them talk about how this could affect like games programming." And then, as like a sidebar, put how does this affect Angelo's note? Because last podcast, Rory mentioned something. And you were like, "I'll have a whole note of like movement ideas." Oh, that. how does it affect it? Uh, Dave is, it doesn't yet. It Dave doesn't is, it yet. yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know if Dave will have, I would assume. All right. Dave's going to have a, a large role in programming. Um, and I bet Boz will still program, but I bet some stuff will either be taken out or just Sm- s- smoothed over. Mm. Is that what you want to call it? No. No. I uh, think it's too late. I think it's dangerous if you would. I don't think it is. No, dangerous. I don't think it's too late. Yeah, I mean, you've tested you've tested some of the individual workouts, like when you were when I was on the team. team yeah. yeah, so how? I mean, how late were you doing that? Why? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I I don't think that I don't think stuffs. But that that okay. So maybe that's an alteration of like rep schemes, rounds, and structure of the workout. If if something, I'll tell you what, if Rogue, Rogue ain't fabricating anything else. No, but if and there's like something the, in there that Dave thinks is stupid, they're not going to do it. Like something they can like change. Movement, like yeah. yeah, like if it's like I don't know, muscle ups and a barbell, like you can change that to like pull-up bar and kettlebells like i feel like you could make those changes you know what i mean yeah like yeah. you can change rep scheme movements a little bit but yeah you can't change like hey we have an obstacle course for event three screw that we're not doing it like i don't think that's gonna happen right. <laughs> um, and i and you know what i hope i hope that that is made very clear in advance because one thing that also bothers me is like i think that people have a short memory and there were plenty of things that they programmed that people are like this is dumb yeah oh yeah and, oh, yeah, I mean, and nowadays it's all like hashtag bring castro back okay well castro's yeah. back so are you still gonna bitch and complain well, here we go yeah. that's what yeah. we're gonna find out you know yeah like, exactly yeah do you want dave back or not you know um and everybody hated your ring handstand push up, by the oh, way. Oh, I saw that. And I, I, I stand by it. Yeah. I don't so care. Bad. I stand by it. I, yeah, I, like, I'm just telling you. Exactly. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Like, hey, like, the ring handstand push up. You can have up. an opinion, even if it is wrong. Yeah, absolutely. Wrong. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and, and, and here's the deal also like, 
is beautiful because you're the two men in the arena and I'm just the dude in the stands. And like, sometimes <laughs> it's going to be a lot more fun for me to watch people do shit that yeah, looks yeah. crazy than, yeah. and that you guys would be like, if it's dangerous, that's one thing. Right. But, um, it's stupid. If you think it's dumb, I'm <laughs> like, ah, you know, like, and, yeah. uh, and, well, and everybody's so biased. I'm like, hey, I can actually pull a couple of those off. Like maybe yeah. that's why I like them. Well, you know? Yeah. But if you use your legs, Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that was my point and the, i was like yes make yeah, it so you, you can, can use your legs. legs and he can't use his legs and i can do something in the middle it's like it's That's, just what's going yeah, on no, here. this is a lockout for yeah. one judge and this is a lockout for another judge that was what happened yeah. on that i can bend my back and my you judge, can't oh man she would not she was like get your head all the way through and i'm like i'm trying you know like, it was yeah. awful <laughs> i get it i get it and uh look i'll be the unpopular opinion on this one um but yeah sorry the for the online stuff i'm like uh, I hope you got anybody who's listening, like plant your flag now was like, did Boz really destroy the program in the CrossFit games? And like, if it's great this year, are you going to credit Dave Just Castro saying, yeah. with that? Or is it like, or if it's bad again, are you going to say, well, he didn't, oh, I he, didn't have he time. Didn't come in. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, he didn't come in like, soon enough. And look, that's part of the fun of being a fan of CrossFit is like, we're always going to argue about programming yeah. no matter what. Um, so you have it. Whoever, you know, theoretically the, the games of the test were like the top so will show up. The hunger games, you know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't think it affects the programming that much. I think some things are going to be checked over more. And I think everyone said that, that they feel like Dave tested stuff more than Boz did. I don't necessarily think that. No? I think, <clears throat> honestly, I think what happened was, is Boz probably recommended a bunch of things over the years and they always got turned down. And so last year he's like, I'm doing every single doing one of those things, things yeah. that Dave didn't want me to do that one year, you know, like not bad, yeah. not whatever, but they were just completely different. Yeah, well, stuff. And, and a different twist on that is also that Boz was always in that privy council. Yeah, no, and so he, he was always like there thinks, testing. Everybody thinks that, you know, this is a new thing. Boz was with Dave and, yeah. as, like, yeah. you know, probably what I would from the outside, I don't know a ton, but, I know because games programming was something that was usually pretty off limits probably to me. You know, I probably yeah. knew a lot of everything else. Um, but, you know, I would test every once in a while. I'd get a random text. Hey, test this. Let me know what you think. And it would, he's like, don't tell anybody. And never did. But I'd say Boz. Hold probably, on. Hold on. Clarify that real quick. When I was on. Not an individual. When competitor. I was not an yeah. individual. We had no individuals around yeah. here at that yeah. time either. So um, it would probably be Boz. Chuck, Todd Whitman, mm -hmm. probably your three that Dave probably was around a ton and would bounce probably ideas off of, but then they would bring in athletes to test. You yeah. know, there's like this whole group I do. of secret athletes, although yeah. last year was the worst secrecy yeah. of any anything, any yeah. year previous. I will say that. Like, it, yeah, I mean, like yeah. We yeah. heard movements from a different camp yeah. because... They had I think, they could, had I think that could get tracked down to last one, year, one individual. Last year was the worst. Yeah. And then you watch the videos and you're secrecy. like, oh, now I know why. Now because know you have 20 people in a giant room yeah. who all know the workout. I don't think it ever happened like that. Like, I remember when you you told, because you would do, like, one of his workouts. I tested heavy grace at and, 225. Yeah. Oh, and, and then was, you did heavy DT. Heavy, at two, sorry, heavy DT. At 225. Heavy DT at two twenty five. Because you did it at your dad's house, right? Yeah, well, this away was, from everybody. This nobody was, was around, and yeah, I was like, guy. <laughs> and I text Dave. I was like, two twenty five is too heavy. <laughs> at that point, was probably a little too. It, you just lose the purpose of the workout. Yeah. yeah, you could do it. I could do it. I think I did like a round in a minute, and then like started to smash. I was smashed after <laughs> that. So I was like, two oh five is enough, and then I think one fifty five double. Like I think oh, he had double, Josh yeah. Tech. Test double, double, and me test. Was Josh the games that year? I don't think so. In twenty, that was twenty fifteen. No, he I, wasn't. I don't think yeah. so. No, that was twenty fifteen. So. so he wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember you. I remember you telling us afterwards that you did a two twenty five. Like yeah. this was like August or September. Yeah. And I was like, because you would do them after we would train. Yeah. By yourself at the barn. Mm -hmm. So like, because I know people are gonna listen and say, well, he oh, told he somebody, yeah. and, and I, he, you know, I tested. Uh, I tested the thruster bar muscle up. Oh and yeah, 16, 15, 15, 10, 6. 15, yeah, whatever 15, 10, that workout 6, was. I tested that was bad. Yeah, 155. And some of that secrecy stuff has to come down to like 65, 155, 165. It was heavy. <laughs> I remember. So some of that stuff had to had, comes down to like uh, I think the integrity of the people testing it, right? Because yeah. you have to have people do it. Yep. And then you take it seriously enough, but it's unfortunate that they would find somebody yeah. who, would, who would have exactly. some loose lips. Um, there was one year where a guy in the broadcasting. I probably told this story already. 
but you have to imagine like if you're going to do a live broadcast on a major network television show, you have to like, you can't create the workout graphics the same day and make yeah. them look good. Right. So there was a team of people who had to have access to the yeah. workouts and it grew over time as the complexity of the broadcast uh, grew. But there was a dude who particularly, he made graphics and he was at an affiliate and just like, you know, mm. thought he was hot shit and was trying to tell everybody about it. And, uh, if I've I remember correctly, it was either at Chase Ingram's affiliate or it was in, it was in the in Dallas, Dallas Fort Worth area. And someone told Chase, but um, that dude was out on next, you know, got out. He gone. So, yeah, I don't think it's ever not been taken seriously. I think it depends on yeah. the character of the people who like you inevitably yeah. have to have involved. Um, that's a total side note. Uh, what is the larger impact to the affiliates in the community? Um, I, I don't th think it really. I think that we have like this whole conversation is great and fun, but we're pontificating because we really don't know. We don't like, know. So we don't I even mean, know the only thing that role. I would say is uh, and, and Justin, I guess, I mean, he was part of the community. He's been here for. I don't think he's not been somebody that's come in since the whole deal. I mean, he's been around. He owned an affiliate. Owned he was an on affiliate. Seminar staff. Seminar staff. Flowmaster on seminar staff. Yeah. So, um, I don't. I mean, Dave. Definitely. I think when you think of CrossFit, you know, I for years people would ask me. They thought Dave Castro owned the CrossFit Games. You know, yeah. even when Greg was there. Yeah. And I mean, that's a whole nother conversation, and probably what <laughs> happened in 2017 or whatever, 18, whatever 18. year it was. Um. But, you know, so I, people recognize Dave kind of as the face of CrossFit HQ. Mm -hmm. So him taking that larger role back. Um, I think for the larger community, you have to kind of zoom back out and think more Don Fall than yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, and then sure. also, also bring into context for people who are either new fans or like somewhat new in the community. The, the interplay used to be this beautiful symbiotic relationship where games were the marketing of this amazing fitness program that we were all championing. And how to get that back on equal ground. So it's got, obviously, this, the health of the sport matters hugely. Um, but it also seems as if they have a vision for a, a more realistic vision than there used to be of just like, oh, I want everybody to do CrossFit. They've got some specific goals and some systems that Dave was somewhat responsible for imp implementing to try and get CrossFit in the hands of more people. Yeah. So and that's what it's all about. Yeah. That's yeah. Ultimately, even with the games and that's you know I, I don't look as the that's the hard part for me is <clears throat> I think me I always but even in the beginning I'm thinking all right you got CrossFit you have CrossFit games people see it as two separate things I don't think of it as two separate things they should be together they should be like I almost think of the CrossFit games almost as marketing of hey this is yeah. the what this is what we can do through CrossFit but it's not separate from CrossFit and I think part of the reasons I'm, we might have talked about this on a podcast, but I want to see the games become more of the community side, like the athletes get back in the community. You know, in the beginning, it was different where a lot of us own gyms and we're coaches and whatever. Yep. But I feel like, you know, it's and it's started to go back again of like, the it's more, almost a separate thing. Like yeah, the more we, professional it gets. We need to start more doing more community is. style events or community type events with the athletes, with the higher level athletes. Um. Because that's that's the beauty of it. That's what's cool. Yeah. It is we can people Everyone that does, don't compete do the same can thing. still do the same yeah. stuff, you yep. know, in a different you know expression or a different. You can get the similar stimulus with a little bit different of a movement or a scaled movement or whatever, or do the same workout. And it may take you a half hour. Yeah, yeah. It's literally, these guys. Yes, eight minutes. If you, or if you physically can do it, just try. You, try you can it. try it. That's yeah. what's cool. It yeah. is, is the the core of the beauty of what we love to do we're like from implementation it was like hey here's these basic things you need to be able to do and move your body through mm -hmm. and accomplish in order to be a more a, a better human and by the way we're going to make our workouts for the navy seals yeah. crossfit games didn't exist at that time but now it's like we're going to make these crazy workouts for these people but it trickles down and everybody's doing a version of the same thing yeah, exactly and i think i like what i love about mayhem it was the it was when the age group online qualifiers were were taking place we had the athlete facility going we had the door rolled up and I literally took one continuous video where I saw, you know, you and I forget who was doing the workout with you, but it was a couple of heavy hitters. Just did a pan and I walked through that door and then we've got the, li uh, the life class life going class, as yeah. well. And then we've got kids on the far side and it's like, it's just a beautiful, perfect picture yeah. of what yeah. it is. And you've got Roman and these guys that yes. are not old doing, you know, whatever they're doing. That's right. <laughs> and you can see it like uh, we're doing these belt squats the other day. I'm dying. And he pops over and is talking to a, a, an affiliate member about how to get her first muscle up. Yeah. And like her eyes light up and she's just stoked, right? And it's yep. like that we as regular people are inspired by you guys. Um, 
And if we can get back to that healthy understanding of it, I think it got very transactional of like, well, what's in it for me yep. in terms of the games yep. and trying to build that. And yep. they, they were becoming mutually exclusive. Whereas, <laughs> all right, here, here's going to, here's the honest. You're not going to live the rest of your life. Even if you win the CrossFit games multiple times on just the winnings from the CrossFit games yeah. and your sponsors, yeah, you're going to have to do something else yep. and be a yeah. part of the community it is what yeah. it is, you know? Like, like if you have you have the opportunity, you basically by doing good and w- either winning or doing very well at the games, you've made this opportunity and if you you can move on and be like I'm going to do something else, but be a why wouldn't you just <laughs> why wouldn't you just take advantage of like literally the path you've built for yourself? Like you everyone all these people really like enjoy watching you compete and enjoy maybe even enjoy you as a person like they see you on video and stuff, they think you're awesome. You can reach out to those people who are already a fan base of yours who are doing CrossFit and then like make them better. Like, yeah. And transition that's right into that. I mean, that transitions into what we're doing this weekend with train with rich. Yeah. You know, like something we've done and Josh has done a really good job with this is like, yes, you get to work out with us. You get to work out with the group, but also we brought in Pamela who runs gymnastics sage, who does Olympic lifting this weekend specialized is coming. They're bringing 15 mountain bikes and the people that, Go like come to train with Rich. Are going to get to use the mountain bikes, learn some. We're going to go to Can Creek. It's going to be awesome. A little field yeah. trip, and then also you get to go to the pond. We're going to swim in the pond. Is you know, there's some the, some yeah. history to that. Yeah, there. Oh some yeah, cool stuff to yeah. that. So, you know, like it's a uh, we do CrossFit, but let's you know like let's give something back and be a part of that. And and I just I, the games and CrossFit HQ, the community, the affiliates shouldn't be separate. It should all be. Together. for sure and i mean that for me like over the years i went through my own personal stuff like when when i got let go from crossfit and um for a little while there it was like the the light went dim yeah and i was like the yeah. the magic started to feel like it was gone yeah. right but then i come into a place like mayhem and i'm like nah dude like exactly what you're saying or i see these train with rich weekends and people just fired up yeah, uh, the level ones that pass through and the magic's still there and i have to say like definitively I don't think that there's any other community in the world where all the bullshit that's happened to us over the last five years could occur and it would still be around. Yeah. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. It's just been yeah. one wave hold down after one wave hold down after one yeah. wave hold down. That's a surfing analogy. Um, and would still pop up, you know? Yeah. And so I think that's really, really amazing. And so if we were to bring it back in, I would say in that sense, I do think that Dave Castro gets that. I do think that he's, yeah. Yeah. He's Dave got for potential sure. to really I mean, help he, with that unification. He's had his foot in, in both sides of, you know, what people want to divide. Yep. I think he, he knows and has been there since the beginning and knows that, you know, the strength is in the community. It is in the affiliates. It's not the games. The games is an expression more than a a strength, you know, like it's almost like the culmination of our year. It's where, Hey, let's all come together. Let's celebrate this. Let's, you know, like the whole, Oh, let's, you know, let's make it a, a festival of fitness is cool. But I mean, the games, was, you know, to the athletes is important. Like it's let's not, yeah. let's let's let it be what it is, and then after the competition, at the end of the day, let's all hang out, have some workouts. You know, like we've talked about with Mayhem Athlete doing some stuff, some stuff at the campground, hopefully, and and the community show off the community side yep. of it. So, but for the athletes, it's very important. So you know, there's like a there's a cool mix there. Absolutely. Yeah, and I mean, gosh, I don't I don't I don't envy anybody over there because no. the the Mass. the the math has changed so much, not, not, not dollars and cents, but like literally the centers of power and um, even just down to like feelings of how it used to be a lot easier to be kumbaya. Like the yeah. conversation we just had, like it yeah. was just, everybody was just in you, like, because yeah. it was how we felt. But um, it also was not, you weren't allowed to have any dissent. I feel like it's so <laughs> fractured at this point that yeah. like, if you have some dissent, you're not going to get like, as long as you're not going to get, you know, blackballed for it. I feel yeah. like, for a while there, if you had any type of dissent, the problem, you know, there's no structure there. So it's like, who's going to, who's going to like, who's going to say, Hey, don't go yeah, that who's guy gonna out. Blackball them, you know? So, <laughs> yeah, um, man, it's, it is, it is odd timing. That's the big thing, I guess. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't like the timing of it, <clears throat> um, but maybe it was calculated and we don't know. Yeah. You know? True. Maybe it was calculated. Maybe they had this plan for two or three months. Yeah. Or maybe they were giving them a chance to, Hey, write the ship and let's see what happens yeah. through semifinals. And then it, wasn't you know the whole the whole not, not, <laughs> not streaming not streaming the first event every day yeah is hard to come back from yeah uh, that's the only that's the only thing i will i will say yeah 
And sure, and there were, were whispers of changes like this, yeah. in particular with probably JB for a while. And I don't know, when I saw all of a sudden Castro's Instagram started having some pretty heavy game stuff over the yeah. course of the regional weekend. Yeah. Like, I, hey, I mean, I, I've seen this coming, honestly, yeah. for a year. Like Dave's Dave getting in. his foot back in the door. I've seen that for a year. I'm sorry. As soon as Dave got rehired, you could just kind of slowly see him, like, making his way back yeah. in, which I don't think is a bad thing. I don't think I don't think he ever should have really been out. Um, yeah. I don't know. And again, that yeah. was Like out. I said, me and Dave, I lo- you know, I would call Dave a good friend of mine. But in uh, all friendships, I mean, uh, and that's what I would say is as rocky as it's gotten at times, that the fact that we can still be friends, yeah, I guess makes it a stronger friendship, if that makes sense. Yeah. I, yeah. I guess that's what I would call it. We'll know after this podcast. We'll know after this podcast, <laughs> yeah. So. The, one, the one thing you just made me think of is the irony of, the irony of this whole thing for me is theoretically when Dave was let go, it was by Eric Rosa, so it was yeah. a previous, previous iteration. But it was kind of because he wasn't doing the things that were meant that were required of this role. Yeah, and now he's kind of being <laughs> yeah. put back into this yeah. role by I think. So I think again, uh, so much to be revealed about what the actual role is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. Hopefully, he comes to visit us. Yeah, yeah. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> he's been within an hour of here, and not come over. Here, That's so. true. <laughs> yeah. That's true. And then told you to tell me to come eat with him. Oh man, but I do that. You know, I'd be like, "Hey, tell Angelo come dinner with us." You know what I mean? Or, yeah, or you just say, "Hey, Angelo, come have dinner with us." Put him on the text thread. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, we'll see. I, I think, I hope overall it's a good thing. Yeah, and I would love um, more than anything that, like, for the next season, the focus is not Let's on the not internal structure of CrossFit. Somebody. Well, just like, yeah, yeah stop. I don't want. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. It's like. I want the focus to be on like during the open, it's like who's doing well in the open and, and what's happening yeah. and these community yeah, stories. Who's programming the open? Who's oh going to program next week? In the open? What happened? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What happened in the C-suite at CrossFit? Like, let's stop it. Yeah. Um, you know, I know that it's, it's fun to talk about because it's, is it though? Well, I mean, I'm <laughs> it sorry. gives us something people to like talk something about. To talk people about, like yeah. to gives talk us something about it, right? to talk about. Yeah. I don't know if it's fun to talk about. Yeah. It's not fun to talk about anybody losing their job, especially when they're a real human being and have a family and that's not cool. Right. Yeah. Um, so I hate that, but um, I mean that the drama drama is clickbaity. I guess is the way to put yeah. it. Oh, you know? What was that? Shuttle runs and dumbbell snatches on CrossFit dot com today. Saturday. Oh, uh, I got a dumbbell uh, step up. Strict. What are strict burpee? Strict burpee. I guess with a strict push up. Hmm. I've never even heard of a strict burpee. Is it? Does it have a description? Yeah. Can you click on? Click on oh, it. strict burp. Oh, you can just click on burpee. Click on burpee. See what it says with the strict burpee. But it's just the burpees that's blue. Sorry, we we're sidebarred with this strict burpee. I have, standard. I have, yeah. I mean, I got a. Um, I would assume, yeah, like Angelo's saying, maybe one. The burpee. Okay, oh, so this isn't going to be. Oh, James, look at James. The young James. Oh, he's doing oh, a strict push that's up. Strict. That, I don't, Ooh, it nice just says the burpee, there. though. Oh, I, let it go. Let it play. It was still playing. Man. I want to see oh, if they move on to strict burpees. Yeah, he. Yeah, maybe they will. Watch James again. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Nah, I, I think we're just going to go through the points here. Points of performance. Jack, there you go. I mean, that looks like a. Look at his calves. His calves are so big. He's just like a square. He looks like a Lego. You know, <laughs> <laughs> this is a true. And that's not I, a. That's not a bad like. That he just looks like a Lego. This yeah. is a true story. I was there for some of the filmings of these, like the the first ones that they ever did, and, and they were done in a studio at Tony Budding's house. And during the uh, push press demo, it was him, Julie Fouché, and somebody else. He just ripped a big one on accident. You know, it was like bracing for the for the push press. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> James, <laughs> things you don't know. You know. Behind the story. Tight core. Yeah. Squeeze the butt. Uh, do we have anything else? You ever going to ride mountain bikes again? Yeah, plenty more. <laughs> Dude, it's funny. Uh, so I don't know if he even told you this, but Arthur was like, hey, one of our guys might drop out. Like, do you think you want to jump into Leadville? And I'm like, what guy? I don't know. But I'm just, now I'm throwing him under a bus. And I was like, man, I th- I'm pretty sure that I would probably die or just embarrass everyone. Um, I don't know. You just start riding today. Yeah. What was that time you rode? Uh, I mean, I rode the 12 hour. I, I'll, I'll jump on my bike and like ride around the neighborhood, but dude, uh, life is crazy right now. So like I'm helping Cus, coach, helping Cus Cus. Gus. I'm Cus helping Gus. coach Gus's I football mean, team. I mean, you could just jump right in and you're already training for a hat or for an Ironman, right? Yeah. So just add the bike, you know? All right. Well, w- would you have me at Leadville? I'd have you at Leadville. Come oh, on. man. Okay. Hang on. You got to talk to Arthur about taking one of those people's spots, but there's like two or three people on our, there's an he email put, thread he for put first it out to me. Yeah, I know, but what I'm saying is he needs to make sure with, but I'm. And you also know that, like, if you want to drag anybody in, specializes, like, we'll probably give him a spot. 
So if yeah. you're thinking like punish AJ, that video was hilarious. <laughs> I don't By the way, AJ just yeah. dying. Slowly you, you dying throughout the day. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, then, I'm in. I, the it, more people to train with me, because yesterday okay. I literally rode 50 miles by myself. By yourself? That dude Eric's going to come tomorrow. With on you. the road. No, I was on the road. <laughs> but I thought you had I had to. So here's the deal, too. Is oh, so gosh. I, I, Did you start I at the gym? Out, no, I started at the gym, drove out, rode out Cherry Creek, all the way to uh, Plum Creek, all the way to 84, 84 all the way up to Monterey to 70. Down 70, up Sheep Bluff, down through here, and then back down. On the way up Sheep Bluff, my battery died in my uh, shifter. Oh. So I called Hillary. And I never came off the bike. Like, what the hardest part, honestly, was the fact that when it was flat, I had to over pedal. Oh, no. But then it was like in a gear that I had to stand to climb the last climb of Sheep wait, Bluff. Wait, wait, wait. Hang so on. I don't Hillary, understand how your bike hold works. Hold on one second. And I <laughs> had to have her meet me with a battery. <laughs> So I could switch out the battery to finish the ride. So my bike, the derailleur, and the shifter is Bluetooth to cut down on weight so you don't have the wires through the frame, which is incredible. I have a, I'm an amazing bike. An amazing That's a setup. blue ribbon wife, by the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was great. Her That's and Hill, She was so mad at me, though. I'm so sure. what happened? No, she wasn't mad about bringing me the battery. I was like, hey, can you meet me? I'm like talking through my headphones. In, on, hey, yeah. Siri, call yeah. my beautiful <laughs> yeah. wife, you know? And so I'm, she's like, what? What's wrong? And I'm like, nothing's wrong. Can you go in the bathroom? There's a battery, blah, blah, blah. Talk her through it. So her and Lakeland come down, hand me the battery. I switch it out real quick and take off, right? Um, Siri just picked up yeah. on Yeah. Um, and so we... Uh, <laughs> Are you talking to me? I made, it was 49.4 miles. But as I'm coming down the mountain, I'm hitting 35 or something, this top part. She's like, that is way too fast. What are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. What she doesn't realize, the next hill I hit 48. Yes. <laughs> she was so mad at me for going 35 miles an hour. She's like, you're going too fast. Your hands aren't even on the handlebars. You know, I've yeah. ridden yeah. a lot of miles at this point. Oh, yeah. And you're like, got to stretch your back at some yeah. points. And um, she was not real happy. So you're that not was like, taking your hands on the handlebar when you're going 48 miles an hour. No, 40, no, heck no, <laughs> yeah. heck no. But <laughs> what I was saying is it's a lot safer on a mountain bike to go fast like that than it is my road bike. I used to hit 54 going yeah. down this front spot. On a road bike, there's nothing. which is so stupid. Yeah. Like I think about it, I'm like, you're an idiot. But when you get in it, you're like, I can go faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so but yeah, Those I rode 50 miles yesterday. It was all road um, on my mountain bike, just because I've got to start getting you know touching that three four hour window. So. Explain to Trice what a Bluetooth shifter is. I just did. Oh, you did. Derailleur, okay, sorry, sorry. The derailleur. Yeah, so yeah. Angelo's in the market wanting to get a bike too. So, um, yeah. but man, I it's been been good yesterday like i said that was a big win of riding 50 miles no cramp no like i was by the how's your nutrition what was your plan did you have uh, a plan? i had a bottle with about 40 grams of carbs and another bottle with 20 grams of carbs and then i had three they're called humas they're like a supposed to be a healthy gel it's like chia seeds some fruit stuff like that and i forgot i think it's like Maybe 15 carbs, 15, 20, 25 carbs. And so I took three of those. But probably like 100 calories, just yeah, like 100 calories, yeah, smash them. Shot. Um, I, took, um, I took one at an hour. I took one at 145 and then another one at 230. You do like the salt tabs or something? Uh, or like I, I, that, relight, that relight yeah. stuff. Um, it's similar to Element, but it's the same people that make our Redmond's yeah. Bison Mineral. They yep. sent us some relight and it's good. I'll tell um, you the, uh, the hack that... Oh, shoot. Who used to do our yoga stuff? He moved to Costa Rica. Oh, Addison. Shot Addison nice. told me. Tabs. Dude, in the, in the cheek. Yeah. Really? So you don't it even like. like so cool. doesn't like. They got a little, it got a little, you know. Um, sore spot. A little rubbed, but yeah. not, not too bad. Um, I have to try that. That was when I did the trap. The problem here is it's so humid that you just, I was talking to Matt Chan yesterday, and he was like, oh, man, when you get up here, you got to be careful. You'll dehydrate at altitude. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. With as humid as, as it is here and how much I sweat, I don't think. I don't think it's yeah. going to be that big of a deal. Yeah. The dehydration side of it more than here. Yeah. Dehydration is going to be a big factor for me because it's not, I sweat you're so gonna, much. Yeah. A heavy sweat. So, um, but yeah, I mean, so far it's going well. Uh, the, the plan that I'm on right now is, is working, seems to be working the 10, about hour, hour and a half most days. And then two long days, probably since I did the 50 this week and it was three plus hours, I'll probably just do about a two hour on Friday. Um, we figured out the aid station thing. It's actually more simple than it seems. Oh, okay. So it's just basically 25, 50, 25, or 75, right? Yeah, and you're just going to beeline to the specialized tent. Okay. And then, you know, these, I mean, these I mean, here's the deal is if my bike's good, I probably won't stop. 
totally. talking to Chan, he was like, he he said the big thing is don't stop because mm-hmm. he was taking like he did the he did sub twelve that was his goal, um, but he was talking about minimizing. Time. I, honestly, after watching that ride to the sky, I'm thinking about having probably three or four fanny packs, and if I can just. Toss, you know take one, thing. you toss yeah. me a new one, put new bottles in, and keep hammering. Yeah. Um, is a Camelback cheesy? I just don't want that weight on my back yeah. for yeah. 100 miles. You know, like I rode yesterday and, and felt really good. I had two bottles in there. Um, and that was, like I said, that's longer than any aid station I'd have to go to. The big thing for me is like towards the middle of that, I started getting hungry. Hmm. Not like like carb crashy bonk. Like actually like hungry. My like you stomach was like, oh, man, I want something right now. Yeah. So, I may try to do Chick Fil A. <laughs> I'm thinking Uncrustables maybe for yeah. like maybe hit two of those. Yeah. Um, Told you that story, right? Oh yeah, that Chick Fil A in the kid middle. Who, kid who's held Chick Fil A for 80, 80 miles. Yeah, and then yeah, used it. yeah. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, that's the deal. Is like you just gotta. But that's the thing. Is like we'll have at every aid station. I think we'll just be there with like, hey, what all do you what want? What do you want? And yep. you're like that, 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 or nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Drop a jacket. Yeah. Pick so one like up. I said, I, the big thing. So any exercise science stuff you read is basically about four four and a half, five hours in is what you got cardio yeah. wise. And so if I can figure out nutrition, I probably won't do any rides greater than five hours before. Um, but I have a, I've thought of a course to kind of hit and hit some really nasty climbs and it should be about 40 miles, but should be about the same climb that I have to do and all that stuff. It'll be all road. But, um, so what you're saying is like, that doing a more than five hours in training is <laughs> not, worthless. Not a huge benefit. You're not going to get much better. Yeah, I've heard that too. For a marathon, you're not going to like. You're just go beating yourself up. Yeah, you're just adding. Yeah, like I think if you train for a marathon like two weeks out, I think you run like 18 miles or something, something and that's like, like the that. most you ever do. Yep. And then you. Yeah, because if you've done 18 miles, you can probably yeah. do. T- as long as you've got nutrition dialed yeah. in and everything dialed in. You're fit, the big thing is the climbing that and, and that type of stuff for me, which if I was <laughs> to have, if I am to have one advantage in mountain biking, it'd be climbing and yeah. descents. Actually, yeah. the stupidity factor. Uh, that one, uh, the and the the only other thing I would say is if we could have gotten our hands on that toy that like mimics altitude, not yeah. one of the restrictive like yeah, not a mask or whatever. Those like don't actually work. Like air thing, but yeah. these ones actually make put you at altitude in yeah. terms of like the density of the air. Yeah, and so we actually talked about, and this is another <laughs> realization I've had. Um, so the fact that we're partnering with First Descents, so it's a charity. Um, we have to start. Or I have to start in the very back in the white, what they call the white tents. And only three guys last year went sub nine hours. So it's 1.5%. Mm. Because you're behind the crowd. You're behind the crowd. You got a whatever. And so I was <laughs> actually looking at maybe doing the, the 50. There's a 50 mile. It's a silver rush. And it's a qualifier. And it puts you forward in the, mm. the pack. And I think I'm going to try this year for sure doing the whites. And just see if I can be one of those three. Mm-hmm. And if not next year, then I'll do one of the qualifiers to move me up. And you yeah. know, if I don't get it, I can't just live with my, the fact that yeah. I didn't do it. So, um, Interesting. but I want to try it from the back this year and see what happens. Okay. I respect that. Hey, you've been pretty quiet about your Ironman training. I feel like we've done um, this a lot and we haven't talked about it really at all. Is I haven't swum at all. Swum. Swam. I'm not swam. Uh, hey, in Saturday. The, in the month the of... <laughs> Uh, I'm leaving on Saturday for Hawaii. Oh my god! On uh, you haven't swam at all. I mean, I get it's that been that's very cold. Easy, yeah, I get. That, I get that. That's it's not. I've been swimming. It's not that bad. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I get that. That's not the hard part. That's not at all the hard part. Like for me, it is really. But, but this okay. So two things you should know about uh, this particular one. Um, it's, it's a the down Fall Creek Falls. Fall and Creek Falls. Or I'm going to do that one also. It, if I if I do Leadville, I won't do that one. Yeah. But if I I'm supposed to climb the Grand Teton. Four days before Fall Creek Falls. So oh, okay, I probably okay. won't. Who are you doing that with? <clears throat> uh, my mom's going to come out. Right, Mills right. is going to do it. Um, it's who knows? Bite. What's that? It's for the invite. Would you like to? I'm just kidding. Actually, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get the kids to do a uh, relay because mm. I think they do great at that. Um, but uh, the big, the crux of it for me is, uh, sorry, it's a down river swim. Yeah. Most oh, likely yeah, yeah, in a yeah. wetsuit. Yep. And so the wetsuit was a game changer yeah. for me. And what I hear is like, Theoretically, you could like float on your back. Yeah, that and swim is a pretty good swim. The swim is pretty modest. I'm not worried about the bike because it's all about the run for me. Really? And so the amount of time, like especially if I get on my bike more and try and follow him, like I'll be very confident, but I'm not a good runner. And it, it, and with a marathon, I've never covered that distance before probably. Maybe once in training when I was trying to do an ultra. Yeah. Um, you need to reach out to Arthur today and try to get in on it. Okay. Um, I'll let you know how it goes. 
But yeah, so the run is really where it's at for me. Mike's so like 120-ish, 112. 112. There's a slightly remember. longer because the swim is short, something that okay. they, they make their bike five miles longer or something oh, because of that so nature. Okay. <clears throat> but the, uh, yeah, like in the in the half Ironman that I did, the bike was, I had a blast. Yeah. Really? Little little lower back pain, but like the bike I had actually, it was Dude, really fun. It would be a nightmare for me to bike that far. Yeah. It would be a nightmare. I could, I could do, I could go out today and do the swim and the run right now. Yeah. Like as long as I had enough food. See, I'm the, the other bike. One. I could go out and do the swim and the bike. Hey, watch <laughs> this. Yeah. I wonder what would happen. Like if we did a triathlon together. Oh, we did. <laughs> oh, we did. The only thing I'll ever beat Angelo in my life. Because he couldn't, he, he just didn't know the gears on a mountain bike. Oh, the off-road try. <laughs> and he still almost caught me on the run. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that <laughs> Like now. four minutes behind or something. <laughs> it was like, I don't I don't remember how, how far behind. But I remember that that was the second time I had rode a mountain bike on a trail. Yeah. I rode Cane Creek one time, <laughs> and then I rode there. And yeah, it was a, it it was a sprint off-road. Nobody can be worse than Jake Lockhart. <laughs> In appearance, yeah, on I a watched bike or dude, <laughs> his helmet, on dude, like a yarmulke, dude, <laughs> and the refusal to fix it. I love the, the, the belligerence, you know. Yeah, hey, like, yeah, man, that doesn't fit quite right. Yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> Far out, <laughs> and then I fixed it for him, and it's so much better. Yes, but at least we got video of him. Somebody not, commented with it on not yeah, fixed. Somebody commented on that. I'm like, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. About his like, helmet sitting like this. Yeah, yeah. good like lord, a, like a helmet yarmulke, <laughs> you know, just sort of covering the dome. Yarmulke. Uh, but yeah, so it's going well, but man, my fitness is not like barbells feel heavy. How much yeah. you weigh right now? Probably 183, four <laughs> on a good day. <laughs> Depends funny. on how much yeah. I sweat. I did a pretty light week last week and then jumped into those squats. I was really scared, but like this week I felt fantastic. So yeah. life is good. Yeah. I need to get back on a barbell at least pretty regular. I mean, I've, I've been doing CrossFit, a CrossFit t- style workout every day. Um, like yesterday I did a bench and pull up just oh, yeah. a lot of upper body though, especially on yeah. a 50 mile day. Oh yeah. I have done some like, man, when we did, we went to Tyler and Bailey's, this one's pretty nasty. If somebody wants to give it a shot, it's just an alternate alternating on the minute workout, 15 cal echo on one minute, t- uh, 15 dumbbell squats with fifties on the other minute. Oh, man. It was bad That's for 20 horrible. minutes. It was nasty. So. Um, I got one to tie in biking community and everything. This is a DM that I received. Um, I guess it's the wife of a man that you met a few years back when you traveled to Central Valley in Fresno. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and oh, so she yeah. reached, did you get this? this morning? Yeah. 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 Wrecked uh, his mountain bike. And oh man, she said, I wanted to ask for prayers. Our beloved CrossFit yeah, coach, absolutely. James Sharney. Oh, this is her coach, not her husband. Suffered an accident while mountain biking this past weekend. He currently is in a fragile state, unable to move most of his body. And we only, uh, we've only seen some limited movement in his hands. So they're asking for prayers. Um, what was his name James? Yep. Yeah. James will be praying. Heck yeah. Um, James crazy. Sharnick. This is why you should mountain bike alone. Oh, my gosh. I got a text the other day. He's like, hey, I'm leaving the barn. Uh, you should not be mountain biking by yourself. From him? Yeah. I yeah. was like, okay, uh-huh. Hillary. Uh-huh. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> oh, like, so I have actually on Garmin, I have this thing that notifies Hillary as soon as I turn it on and start riding. Yeah. And she can track me. And then I noticed the other day, so we went to <laughs> Two Rivers uh, mountain bike, whatever it is, in Missouri, which was incredible. This is, I don't know how many acres, but it's publicly owned, I, I think, because we had access to it. And it said tax dollars go to, to it. But it has, I think it's 25 miles of trails that you can connect. But then it has this kind of hill in the middle, and it has two, like, downhill spots. And so the first day we went out there, me and Brian rode a bunch, came down, did those. Like, every lap I would do, like, two of these climbs and back down to add some um, climbing. And at the bottom, there's this wall, you know, like a wall you can go up on. And so the first day I hit it, oops, sorry, like three or four times. <laughs> the next day we show up and it's raining or it had rained. <laughs> and so I went down at once and I'm like, eh, I'm not going to touch the wall today. It's too slick. You know, we've had oh yeah, you know, wood slick when it's wet. <laughs> next time I come down, I'm like, ah, I'm not going to do it. Third time. Oh, I, I, it's good. Hit it. As soon as I hit it. Woof, bike goes straight and I'm <laughs> flat backed on the middle. And so I look down and it says incident reported. Yes. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> and so I hop back on. So I'm like, duh, surely Hillary didn't see that. But I don't think she incident noticed it. Reported. But yeah, it said incident reported. That's, I, I was still wearing an Apple Watch at the time that we did the last 24 in the canyon. And when I took that massive biff. Oh yeah. Um, I was calling 911 Yeah, I tried to call 911. And I was like, no, 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 some yeah, credit incident Apple. reported. So, but you can you can mess yourself up. Oh yeah, for um, sure. yeah. So yeah, but and his like 
I was on the road at that point. Well, I've got like a pretty good loop here. That's we got six miles of trails, but then I have a loop that adds another six miles if I go to here, and then another two up and two down, so four or another four miles. But it's like that long climb. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know the trail that you were doing. Anyways, like we were. You, I've done the trail. The, I don't done know. that now. Yeah, I, I didn't know, but I didn't know what you were doing. There's because, one sketch spot. <laughs> because, trail out sketch. <laughs> because you left, and then like it felt like 20 minutes later you were coming back. Mm-hmm. And then you rode right back out, and then like uh, it was an hour later, and there, you're nowhere to be that's seen. I'm like, okay, so the, what's I did going the three on? Three up here, and then that's when I do that big loop, the oh, road okay. loop, to okay. kind of finish. Yeah, I was like, uh, and add some miles, <laughs> some seat time, and a ton of climbing. Where does where's the loop? What do you mean? Like, what's your out? What's your road loop? Um, down Whitaker. Yeah, and, and then back around. Back okay. Is there a um, dropper post on your stump jumper? On my stump jumper, yes. And is that what you're riding right now while your other bike no, is? No, I'm on my old oh, Epic. You're, okay. I'm on okay. my Epic because it's pretty close to what okay. I'll be riding. Stump jumper know. looks Stump jumper's good. not together yet completely, yeah. but it looks awesome. Yeah. Dad's putting it together. We got it repainted. Uh, Technar, <clears throat> we'll get some pictures and stuff out. And then since that one looked so cool and I wanted the one that I'm actually going to race in Leadville to look that cool. We sent that off, which probably wasn't the smartest because that's the bike that I'm training on. <laughs> Maybe so. he'll expedite it. <laughs> yeah, hopefully so. Um, but yeah. Okay. So when you go down bailout, if you don't have a dropper post, send it, man. Was it like literally no brakes? Uh, no, I, I use some brakes, especially like when it's wet right now. And is your butt like behind your seat? Pretty close to back there. Yeah. yeah. It's almost like in my stomach. <laughs> Obviously no front brakes. <laughs> What? Obviously, no front brakes. You no, just no. Back Main, brake mainly only. dragging. Uh, no, I'll I'll drag back brake. Yeah. Or I'll, I'll I'll tap every once in a while front brake, depending on like if there's because there's one line. Yeah. And it's almost like that a little. It's like a dirt. washout. Yes. <laughs> and <laughs> if there's a rock in there at times, you're like, here we go, yeah. and you're fine. But you know, it gets sketch going down there. The bet. I wish we had it on film the one time when Goldie and David Lane are like. I had started behind them, and it was like Top like, Gun. They're literally <laughs> like this, and I'm just like splitting and just right through. And Goldie, they described it like Maverick, you know. The <laughs> yeah, movie, they're like, "Where is he? Where is he?" Looking yeah, they're like, right "Oh, he's coming. he's coming! So at some yeah. point, he'll be here." And then I just split them. <laughs> and the worst is like if you get behind somebody and they're like looking back, and I had to I forget yeah. who it was. I was like, "Do not look at me." Yeah, you're look, like, do your do thing. Do yeah. your thing, and I'll go around you. Yep. You know, yeah, especially on a downhill. That's the thing is, I don't like to pay attention to anybody else. Because when you, I feel like you guys may, th- you get target fixation. Yeah. And just stuck. Okay. So there's, yeah. there's, a word or you're like, it. oh, I don't want to hit, like, I don't want to hit that. Okay. I don't want to hit, right, hit that. I don't want to hit that rock. <laughs> you know, yeah. it, it, literally. You just like, you got to think, I want to go in this path. You yeah. know, I, I want this I, path. I, I look out. Yeah. I don't look down. I never look oh, down. Okay. I look out. And then I kind of, the bike just goes where it needs to go. Yeah. What about on the switchback? Maybe this is again because mine is big, but like I have to pick my line, but then I have to literally yeah, look to where I want to Yeah, switchback, or like yeah. when you're climbing and on switchbacks, it's a little bit different. You almost have to like look Whip. way out and then come back, especially yeah. with you having a, a hearse for a <laughs> bike, you know. <laughs> uh, That's why I ride, car. I, like I'm, I'm a large, I'm like right at the bottom of a large and too tall for a medium, but I like a medium better. Oh, really? Yeah, because I can maneuver the bike a little bit more. You are, you, where? You, you, you ride a large. I'm, I'm, I'm on an XL. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm probably definitely a large. You're large for sure. I'm like a couple inches taller than you. So that trek, did you ride that trek the other day? The older trek that yeah. we had? That, yeah. That's a, it's a large frame. That's a large frame. Just okay. for giggles, you should jump on mine just to see like the, you'll see what I mean. It, is Dude, it's it takes a while to get It's a hearse, man. What kind of bike is it? It's a track. It's the exact it's the same. same bike. Oh, it's but just it's because of the XL. It's an XL, which is, I mean, it feels adds, big. Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> yeah. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. <laughs> All right. We don't have anything else to talk about. I think we covered a lot of bases, man. We did. More to be revealed. We love the community. We're trying to bring it all together. Yep. Kumbaya. Kumbaya. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great Frony Farm shirt. Kumbaya. 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 Peace. Peace.